In this video, we will be exploring your introduction to how to use a breadboard. We will look for the power, the ground, and what is connected. So the first thing you should do when you get your breadboard is check to make sure that each of the switches are either connected to TTL or connected to plus five. There are three, there are three switches where this matters. This one should be connected to plus five. This one should be connected to plus five. This one should be connected to TTL. Second, we're going to check to see where power and ground have been connected. Every breadboard consists of two sets of vertical holes going down the outside of the board. All of the outside vertical holes should be connected to ground all of the inside vertical holes should be connected to power. We can check that using our logic indicator lights. Our logic indicator lights are right next to the set of two switches, which we had to turn to plus five and TTL. We start with logic indicator one. It should show up red when it's connected to power, green when it's connected to ground. Now it is not sufficient to only check the top part over here. We have to also check the bottom because it's possible that one of these orange wires that connect the top to the bottom could have come undone since the last time it was used. So far, everything seems to be working. Perfect. So now that we know that all of the places that are vertical are connected to power or ground as they are supposed to, we'll check to make sure all of our logic indicator lights are working. So from the top to the bottom, these are numbered from one to eight. So we're gonna check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then we'll connect to ground and check from the bottom to the top eight seven six five four three two so it looks like all of our logic indicator lights are currently working but the horizontal sets of holes are only connected in groups of five so everything that is connected in the bottom set of five over here is connected to each other, but not connected to anything in the holes above it or the holes on the other side of the narrow group. 